few absolute legends. This particular problem is a long one, so we'll get a cup of coffee ready. We have an unbalanced chemical reaction here of gases, and we are given 10 grams of a reactant and asked for the volume of this product that could be produced here. Now, the general plan for this problem goes as such. We have grams of a reactant. We are going to solve for grams of the product that could be produced. And then with that grams of product, we're going to use gas law stuff to solve for question mark liters. This is a, a step by step breakdown right, right here. First thing we need to do is balance this chemical reaction that's up here and solve the grams to grams part. So this is the first thing that we're going to solve with right here. So to balance this out right here, I have I got about I'm going to start by balancing out my nitrogens first. I'm going to put a two right there, and then my nitrogens are balanced. And then if I put a three right here. So if I do my scaffold, excuse me, if I do my ledger in my head, I have two nitrogens on each side. I have six hydrogens here, six hydrogens here. I got a balanced chemical reaction. So to solve for the grams of reactant and to solve for the grams of product, I'm going to start with in the upper left-hand corner of the scap, 10 grams of N2. Now I need to know the I need to know how many moles of N2 are present so I can compare the moles of N2 to the moles of NH3. So when I look at my periodic table and look up N2 the formula and add up those nitrogens, it's about 28 grams per mole. And notice how I have that unit in there, so that way grams cancels. So now I can now I have the moles of N2 and I want to compare it to the moles of NH3 that could be produced. So I'm going to take these ratios from the balanced chemical reaction, 1 N2 and 2 NH3. A word cancels out. This will tell me the moles of NH3. I could go on to gas law stuff right here. But keeping with our habit of solving for grams to grams, which is a stoichiometric foundation, we're going to solve for grams of NH3 that could be produced. I'm going to go to my periodic table and look up those uh, atoms, atomic masses. 14 plus 111 is going to be 17 grams per mole. Mole cancels out. After I get a calculator and plug all this out, it would solve for the grams of NH3 that could be produced. I'm getting 12.14 grams. I shall put it in here. 12.14 grams of product could be produced. So now for the second part of the problem, I'm going to use gas law stuff and solve for the liters of product that that, excuse me, solve for the liters that the product would take up in space, the volume that would take up. So now to start this scaffold, the smart start is to have the units I want in the numerator right off the bat. So doing gas laws, you can start off with the volume right on the top right there. So 0 0.0821 uh, liters times ATM moles times Kelvin. So those are the units, that's the gas constant. There's no fudging around. It's either going to go in like this or it's going to be flipped. And because I'm looking for liters, I have liters on top right here. Now, the temperature and the pressure, those are things that have to be given in the problem as well right here. It's kind of set up. So for the sake of this problem right here, the temperature is 298 Kelvin. And the sake of the pressure, it's 1.1 ATM. 
and that's kind of our low hanging fruit, get those units to cancel out. And again, this temperature and pressure would have to be told to you in the question. So now I have to cancel out moles right here. Now, all I have, I know I have 12.4 grams of the product, but I use the periodic table to cancel out the moles right here. Very similar to what we did just in our first step, in our first scaffold right there. So we talked about NH3, looking that up on the periodic table, 17 grams per mole. Mole cancels out. So now I have this grams I need to cancel out here, and 12.4 grams of NH3 was produced. So now everything cancels out except for the volume liters. So now it's a matter of calculating up. Oops, 1.4. I'm getting 16.22 liters as the volume that that gas is going to take up. I hope this helps. Thank you.